Namaste, and welcome to our continuing series on homeopathy with our beloved Dr. Fletcher Today we take up <coughs> one of the most important things happening in the world, white sugar consumption. Yes, yes. See, sugar is directly a carbohydrate. Uh -huh. It's a carbohydrate. Yeah. But by itself, it doesn't have much amount of carbohydrate. But because of its sweetening taste, our body secretes lot of gravy, ghrelin like material. And because of this hormone, you get more appetite. So the sugar itself is not giving you more calories, but it enhances your appetite and there won't be satiety even if you eat little more. So that way the sweets when we eat especially with the sugar and jaggery your leptin secretion is inhibited and ghrelin is secreted more so you tend to eat little more after eating this sugar. Especially this white sugar, there are catalysts which are used for whitening it. And because of these chemicals, the sugar becomes more hazardous. The white sugar becomes more hazardous. But so is the case with jaggery. Jaggery is little better than white sugar. But the same thing, the, the sweet taste enhances your appetite. It, it increases your appetite and you tend to eat little more after this. Not necessarily sweets only you eat. Mm -hmm. But if you eat little sweets, then your appetite goes on increasing and then other things you stuff more. Is jaggery also treated with chemicals? Generally we get jaggery with all natural elements in it. Ah. Like I have witnessed the process of making jaggery. The sugarcane juice is boiled slowly for hours and to make it crystallize or solidify and they use what we call vegetable binders like okra, oh. bendy, the lady's finger. Yes. The, the roots or the, the plant of this okra is used as a binder, natural binder. Then they even add little milk. Hmm. for this. So this site of jaggery without chemicals and without any preservative can be prepared. Not only that they, they collect molasses. Just before making complete solidified jaggery they can collect the molasses and that molasses also can be preserved for whole year. In Maharashtra it's traditionally done. Okay, without refrigeration? Without refrigeration. We, we, we store this thing in earthen pot, mm -hmm. natural earthen pot and for years together we do it. But the best sweetener would be honey. When you take honey, honey is sweet to taste. It has similar amount of carbohydrate but it does not increase your appetite. This is the sweetness. This is the best part in honey. Mm -hmm. If you work out calories, sugar, jaggery and honey equal quantity volume will have same amount of carbohydrate. Ah. But honey will not enhance your appetite. And therefore we advise honey in the morning with lemon in water, in warm water, so that it, it gives you sweet taste but it does not increase your appetite, unlike white sugar or jaggery. And what about for diabetics? See, that's what I say that diabetics also, it is not the, the quantity of carbohydrate we get from sugar which alone is responsible mm -hmm. for raised glucose level. It is the enhanced appetite. It is the, the appetite which is increased is more harmful and therefore we say don't take sugar or these type of carbohydrates, but honey is okay for diabetics because it itself has very little carbohydrate but it doesn't increase your appetite. 
another best thing like see the difference if it is sugar cane now sugar is prepared from sugar cane and that sugar cane juice that itself is the fresh juice extracted from the sugar cane when we keep sugar cane juice in container every minute the taste gets altered the fresh within a minute is a different taste of sugar cane and in in 3 4 minutes the taste gets altered it gets almost like fermented and after 10 minutes you just can't consume it oh. so sugar cane juice has to be fresh not only that if we have extracted fresh sugar cane juice and if you pour just two drops of stale like sugar cane juice lot which is extracted before mm-hmm. 10 minutes the whole sugar cane juice gets altered the taste but the best consumption would be sugar cane juice and sugar cane juice also not extracted because extracting the juice and consuming itself will take pretty long time so what we advise is just cut the sugar cane peel off the hard peel mm-hmm. and then chew Jeez. so your teeth can uh-huh. work as extractor and that is the best way because it gives you fresh juice plus your denture also gets wonderful exercise and it's all fresh juice how is it better than honey we don't say better than honey but it is not harmful as sugar white sugar ah okay we are comparing with the mm-hmm. same product right sugar white sugar jaggery and direct juice or directly mm-hmm. chewing it or extracting with yes, the tea yes. so this is the best because especially people with jaundice people with jaundice they need constant supply of carbohydrate because uh, fat they cannot digest because right. liver is in problem right so there what we advise is just go on having sugar cane go on chewing it for whole day you don't need to drink water and that carbohydrate is pure form and does not enhance your appetite whereas the white sugar if it is consumed in any form will promote your appetite and which is again harmful in any any condition but honey doesn't do that honey is again very much natural though it's very expensive to collect it's not easy to have a colony in every house you need lot of flora flowering around it you to have it but honey would be the best for diabetics or even non diabetics or even obese people now i i heard that many of the artificial sweeteners are possibly carcinogenic but i've also heard that some are very good like splenda i've mm. heard that splenda is not a bad i don't know but what i'm telling not having chemicals which are harmful is fine but for me i am worried about the the appetizers anything which which enhances your appetite and you are prone for over eating then secondarily it is some very harmful right directly it may not have harmful chemicals but if the effect of consumption of that is mm-hmm. enhancing your appetite yeah. it is bad it you will be prone for obesity that's why we have seen many people who are diabetics are using these artificial sweeteners they definitely go on gaining weight it may not be direct effect of sweetener hmm. but because of sweetener if the appetite is increased yes. unduly it it has harmful effect wonderful thank you sir